Hello. All right. So here we go. We are going to, this would be great, really it is. We are going to model the motion of a satellite around the Earth using Python. It's going to be great. Okay, so I already went over the physics of it before, and I've also already put in some values in here before I forgot them. So I have G, the gravitational constant. I have the radius of the Earth in meters, and I have the mass of the Earth in kilograms. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the Earth. Uh, Earth equals sphere. Position equals vector. Okay, so now I don't want to put it at the origin because I want it to be difficult. Let's just put it a little bit off origin. Let's put it at, um, let's just shift it over one radius of the Earth. I don't know, just for fun. So let's say vector negative R E zero zero. And the radius equals R E. I'm going to run it. Let's, let's go ahead and save this. Satellite orbit save. So let's run the sucker. Run. There's my Earth. But wait, it gets better. Okay, I can't remember. I think it's texture equals textures dot Earth. Is that it? Don't let me look it up. No, that's not it. Material equals materials dot Earth. Maybe that's it. It might be lowercase Earth too. I feel dumb now. Didn't get on the first try. Didn't get on the second try. Let's try lowercase e. I'm going to have to Google it. Okay, let's go back to textures. Last try. That's going to be it. It's going to run. It's going to get it. Boom! Ha! <laughs> Okay, so there you go. Look at that. It's the Earth, and you can even rotate it around. Rotate it around, and see the Earth. Isn't that great? Okay. Now, yeah, I'll, I'll admit, and you can change this up. This is a shiny Earth, uh, and there's multiple point sources. If you want, you can look and, and make it so there's only one point source, and that's not as shiny, and it looks really realistic. It's pretty cool, uh, but this is good enough for me. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, Earth.m, just to be is me oops is me just to be clear um and and just for later earth dot p equals vec is this m e times no no earth dot m times vector zero 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 so it's that rest which i'll i won't do it first okay now let's make the satellite let's just call it sat it's a sphere uh its position is vector um let's say R E zero zero. So it's gonna be twice the radius away from the center. Yeah. And then the radius. I can't make it a radius of like ten meters. You won't be able to see. let's just do that. Equals ten and let's run it. There it is. You see it? No, you can't see it because it's super tiny. So let's make it a tenth the size of the earth. Point one times R E. Let's see if that's too big. It might need to be a little smaller. There it is. Let's make it a little, let's make it uh, 0.05, 0.03. That's good. I like that. Okay. One more thing. This is obviously what we're going to do. Make trail equals true. Now I need the mass. Sat.m equals, uh, let's say it's 100 kilograms. And let's say sat.p equals sat.m times vector Let's put it at zero, zero, zero. Okay, so, and then I need one more thing. T equals zero. DT equals, now this one is tough. I'm gonna go ahead and say DT equals one. But you gotta think, I mean, how far, if you put a point zero one, uh, you know, if it takes 90 minutes for the space station to orbit the Earth, um, you know, point zero one, it's just gonna take too long, okay? So let's run it a lot faster. Okay, now while T is less than Let's just put it at a thousand for now. Rate a uh, hundred, hundred calculations per second. That's doing things. Uh, we can change these. Okay, the first thing I need to do is calculate r. So r is going to be equal to the vector from the Earth to the satellite. So it's going to be sat.pos minus Earth.pos. And be careful here. Earth is I capitalize Earth, so make sure you capitalize it from now on, or you're going to get that messed up. 
I could calculate the unit vector and the normal vector, uh, the normal, uh, I'm sorry, the unit vector and the magnitude of R, but I don't really need to do that. So let's say F equals, I'm just going to call it F, negative G times earth dot M times uh, sat dot M times the unit vector R hat, norm R, divided by the magnitude of R squared. So it's going to be mag R squared. Next, I want to update the momentum of the satellite. Sat dot P equals sat dot P plus F times CT plus, right? So remember, the, the negative sign is a negative on that radius, that vector right here. It says go in the opposite direction of that vector. It doesn't mean that I am subtracting that vector. Really, this force is, has a negative component. Maybe that's fine, but that's not what that negative sign means. Now I need to update the position, sat.pos equals sat.pos plus sat.p times dt divided by sat.m and update time. See, that's not so hard. Let's just see, do you think it's going to run? Let's see. I should save it. I'm kind of nervous because I don't think it's going to run. Yes, yeah, something happened. Unexpected token. Okay, what did I do wrong? Oh, here. I missed it. I missed that. That's not that bad. I did it. Okay, so let, it doesn't look like it's moving. So let's just uh, increase this rate and put another zero right here too. And run it again. Oh, it did move. There you go. Boom, awesome. Okay, so a couple of great things happened here. Uh, let's let's put this back at a, 100 and run it. So it starts off with a zero momentum, so it has to speed up, but the gravitational force is pulling this way. So that's making it increase in momentum towards the center of the Earth. I didn't, that, I didn't tell it to orbit, I just said go, okay? So now watch what happens. It's gonna go into the Earth because the Earth's not there. There's nothing in here that says the Earth, okay? So it just crashes right through the Earth. And then when it gets super close to the center, this gravitational force blows up, okay? I mean, it's possible that it could slow back down and come back, but if it goes through the origin, if it gets too close, then you're gonna get you know, a near infinite force and a ginormous momentum. So that's what happened. It's, not, it's, not, it's okay. But let's say that we want to orbit. Let's try this. What if I give the, uh, the mass an initial momentum in the y direction. So let's just let's just put this at a hundred meters per second. And let's just try, see what happens. Which is not very fast. You can see it's not quite in a straight line, but it didn't deviate very much. It's not gonna be enough. Let's try uh, 500 meters per second. And I should increase the rate. Let's increase this rate to 200. And that's not fast enough either. Let's just go up to 1,000. And I'm just guessing here. I'm just playing around with it. It doesn't matter. OK, now you see we're getting something good here. That looks nice. Let's just, I'll let it go into the Earth, and let's find out what happens. Again, it's going to get too close to the center. It's probably going to blow up. No. It can't see. It came right back. There we got our first orbit. Okay, technically it's in the surface of the Earth, but there you go. Okay, let's just, I can increase this to something crazy like 3,000. Maybe we can get it to orbit around the outside of the Earth. I don't think it's gonna make it, it's gonna have to go faster. Let's go five. You know, and I need to increase, this is too, I'm impatient. Oh, that looks pretty good actually. Check that out. That's almost a circular orbit. No, it's not quite. But it is indeed orbiting. And remember, this is this is in 3D. Let's see, that zooms. See, 3D. And there you go. There's your orbit. So now, what can you try? Try. What if I put the 
object further away. Let's start this at, uh, at twice the Earth's radius. Okay, so now it's further away. That same velocity is giving it a much different orbit. So the, the orbital speed, if you, especially if you want a circle, does depend on the velocity. You could try to play around with this and get a perfect circular velocity. I think you can do it. Um, you could even make it move in the X or Z, whatever direction you want. Uh, also, you might want to try something. If you get it going fast enough, it doesn't orbit at all. It just escapes. That's kind of fun. But, I mean, I think the most important thing is that really... This is not that much different than the spring problem. We calculate a variable force, but other than that, we're doing the same thing. Okay, and so that's pretty awesome. The next program, we're going to put the moon here. Okay, that's it.